Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more topic in automata theory that is a simplification of context-free grammar. So in the previous session, we have discussed about the context-free grammar. So how can we represent the production rules and uh, how it differs from the regular grammar? Now in this session, we'll see the simplification. So how can we reduce the production rules? Okay. So in order to reduce the productions, so that can be done in three ways. One is by removing useless symbols or useless uh, non-terminals, right? And one more way is to removing null productions null productions and one more way to minimize the cfg is by removing unit productions unit productions see coming to here uh, removing the useless symbols so our production rules will be having a lot of terminals and the non-terminals and if you find any terminal or non-terminal which are not used in the derivation of a, any string then th such type of production is called as a useless. So that can be the terminal or it can be a non-terminal whatever it may be. So we have to find such types of variables so commonly we we'll call them as a variables right. So we have to find such type of variables and we need to remove them from the production rules. So that means the variables which are not at all used in any derivation of any string, right? In deriving any string, we simply remove those useless symbols. And coming to this one, I'm removing the null productions. So this is also called as epsilon production, right? So usually we call them as a null productions. So if there are any epsilon productions, then we have to remove those epsilon productions. So there is some sort of procedure uh, need to be followed while removing these uh, null productions. And similarly, unit productions, coming to the unit productions, so on the left hand side and the right hand side of the production will be having a single non-terminal. So that we call it as a unit production. For example, some S tends to capital A. So here on the left hand side it is a non-terminal, on the right hand side it is a non-terminal. Left hand side non-terminal, right hand side non-terminal. Or A tends to B. Here also the left hand side is non-terminal and right hand side is non-terminal. So such type of productions we call it as a unit productions and we need to remove those unit productions. And here also we are having some procedure that means some substitution procedure will be uh, done to remove the unit productions. And coming to this one. So A tends to epsilon, this is nothing but a null production, right? So or simply A tends to A capital A or epsilon. So this is also a null production. So we need to remove such type of null productions. And coming to the useless productions, for example, so S tends to A, B and if A tends to small A and B tends to small B and capital C tends to small C, so in this production rules you can observe so s is having only two non terminals a b so there is no concept of non terminal c so this type of uh, production we call it as a, a useless production so we can simply remove this one because any string so we can derive any string and in that derivation of any string we will not use this particular c non terminal c so such a type of uh, useless productions can be removed and uh, so by, by removing all these things we can simplify the CFG that means we can minimize the context free grammar right. So in today's session we will go with the, a few examples of removing useless symbols and in the next two sessions we will go with the null productions and removing the unit productions. First let us see this uh, removal of useless symbols. So we will go with the two more examples and uh, will close. See, uh, here we will see these two examples now. So we need to remove the useless productions 
or useless variables from these productions right first let us consider this one so you can observe here so in the three productions okay in the three productions there is no non terminal c okay you can observe here c is no uh, not at all used in any production rule so simply we can remove the production c tends to ad because this is a useless okay this is a useless and coming to the second production let us see so a tends to a capital a and if you substitute a value here so again we'll get a a a and again if you substitute a value here we'll get a a a a because a doesn't have the non terminal so here you can observe a doesn't have the non terminal so always the strings will be containing a non terminal right so a doesn't have any terminal sorry a doesn't have any terminal in our production rules so that's why always if you substitute a value here it will be keep on going and we'll get the string with a non terminal so we can't uh, terminate this a we can't substitute this a with any terminal so our string is nothing but a set of uh, terminals so string should not contain a non terminal but here so we can't replace the non terminal with a terminal here anyway so that's why we can also remove this production so simply you can remove the this production a tends to a a because this is a useless because so if you substitute a value here so it doesn't have any terminal so it never ends so that's why we will remove this production and this production so after minimizing this one the resultant will be so a a b okay and t because we need to remove this one so if it is a automatically there is no production for a because we have removed this production and this production so simply remove that one and also go with a b tends to a b and b so this is the simplified cfg for this example okay and coming to this example see here we are having a production for a okay we are having a production for a then what about the production for b there is no production for b so simply we can remove that one so s tends to a and a tends to b and this production is also useless because we are not having we don't have any uh, production with uh, non terminal a so we can't use this one so we need to remove s tends to ab because there is no production for b and if you remove this one there is no production for a tends to b so simplified cmg is s tends to a so this is the only one which we are going to use all the remaining are the useless productions so this is how we can uh, remove the useless productions from the given production rules so whatever the variables either it can be terminals or non terminals which are not being used in uh, deriving any sort of string then such type of variable should be removed from the production rules right so hope you understood this uh, uh, simplification of cfg by removing the useless productions so if you are having any doubts regarding this feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much